For joining us tonight, the Acadiana Senator whose vote blocked a proposed bill that would have banned gender affirming care for minors is speaking out after getting some backlash. That's right. Senator Fred Mills said he made his decision based on science and data, not political pressure. Newston's Britt LaFaso spoke with Senator Mills about why he says he has no regrets making that vote. Britt has our top story tonight. Britt. The standards of care of a physician in Louisiana prohibit those type of surgeries. If those surgeries are taking place, then a doctor is committing malpractice. So the law right now protects these children. The main issue Senator Fred Mills says he had was the bill would ban physicians from prescribing certain drugs to transgender children for hormonal replacement or hormonal blocking. And in certain pediatric situations, these drugs are very necessary for a very, very small select group of children. And I always have felt and I always will feel that a physician should make the decision of what's best for their patient and not a politician. Senator Mills says if this bill passed, any transgender child on any type of hormone replacement or hormone blocker would have to be weaned off of it by a doctor. He says that could be very problematic for a child already stabilized on these treatments. In addition, he says there's only a very small population of children on these medicines. And as far as, as hormonal treatment, that is a very, very, very last effort. And if needed, I just want the opportunity for a physician to be able to utilize that in the treatment of care. The senator also says after two hours of testimony from physicians, he also learned there have been zero gender altering surgeries done to children in Louisiana. No child in Louisiana has ever had in there or should they have surgery to remove any of their body parts uh, as, as far as that's concerned. And that doesn't happen and it's not legally allowable according to the standards of care of physicians. And like I said, I really believe that to restrict a physician to be able to prescribe medication is, is not sound policy. While Senator Mills faced criticism, he's also had supporters, including Devontae Lewis, one of Louisiana's public service commissioners. Lewis is also one of the first openly LGBTQ people to be elected to a state office. By killing this bill, it showcases that here in Louisiana, we are going to talk truth. We're going to talk fact and we're going to rely on experts to tell us what's going on. And I believe these decisions are best left between a parent, uh, that child, and the medical professionals, not politicians in Baton Rouge who want to make political talking points. Again, the bill failed Wednesday in the Senate Health and Welfare Committee, but as the legislative session is not over, Senator Mills says it's hard to predict what will happen in the coming weeks. Brett LaFosso, Caleb Wine, News 10. Thanks, Brett. Governor John Bell Edwards has said in the past these kinds of bills distract from the bigger issues facing the state. When asked his thoughts on the possibility of the bill coming back, the governor said the Senate should respect the will of the committee and listen to real medical professionals. The legislature has no business inserting itself into that equation. Um, I, I, don't, I don't believe that the legislature is competent to have findings that are in disagreement with the medical associations whose professionals know most about these conditions and the treatments and so forth. Um, and so I believe the, the actions of the Senate Health and Welfare Committee were appropriate. Uh, but I also believe that, that the, the Senate, and hopefully it will as a whole, will protect the work of that committee. Charged to the Senate, the bill can be discharged to the Senate with a simple majority vote, which is not unheard of on the House side where this move happens more often. But as budget talks are ongoing in the last days of session, that could take up more of the focus.